Lesson 2-4, um, the topic is special pairs of angles. And we've talked about um, some types of angles. We've talked about acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, and so forth. Um, we're going to just, we're going to add a, a few other types of angles that are used quite a bit in geometry. And first thing I want you to do is write down the definition of what are called complementary angles. Complementary angles are angles whose measures add up or their sum is 90. So for example, if you look at the uh, green triangle at the bottom, uh, notice that um, if I label this, so we'll call this triangle ABC, um, angle Angle B and angle C, 60 plus 30, they add up to 90. So we say that 60, we say that angle B and angle C are complementary. Now there's also another way we can word that. So we could also say that angle B is the complement of C and angle C is the complement of B because they add up to 90. So they're complements of one another, they add up to 90. Now over on the right diagram, we can see that, um, I'll label this A, B, C, and D. Um, angle A, B, C, and angle D, B, C add up to 90. So they're complements of one another. So complementary angles add up to 90. Now supplementary angles, those are angles whose measures have a sum or add up to 180. So for example, I have one, one uh, diagram here showing two or two angles in me. So 50, this angle that's 50 degrees and the angle that's 130 degrees. Now if I add 130 and 50, I get 180 degrees. So 50, the 50 degree angle and the 130 degree angle are supplementary. They add up to 180. So 50 degrees is a supplement of the other angle. 130 degrees and vice versa. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles such that the sides of one angle are opposite rays to the sides of the other angle. Now, that's the actual definition. Uh, the simplest way to put that is this definition. When two lines intersect, they form two pairs of vertical angles. So notice down below, I have two green lines that intersect. Now, when you have two lines that intersect, vertical angles are formed. Now, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles, and angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. Now, what's important right now is that you're able to identify the vertical angles. So, for example, how about angle 1 and angle 2? Are those vertical angles? The answer is no, because what does angle 1 and angle 2 add up to? they add up to a straight line. So actually angle 1 and angle 2 are, are supplementary. They add up to 180. Angle 3 and angle 4 add up to a straight line, or in other words, they add up to 180. So the vertical angles are across from one another, right? So 2 and 4 are vertical, and 1 and 3 are vertical. Now a theorem that uh, we can lead into is theorem 2, 3, and write this down in your notes which says that vertical angles are congruent. So in other words, when you have vertical angles, that's a pretty uh, uh, important concept to know, is to know, is to identify the vertical angles. So in this diagram, angle one and angle three are vertical, and angle two and angle four are vertical angles. Now, this theorem then says that vertical angles have the same measure, so they're congruent to one another. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice our proofs, and we're going to prove theorem 2-3. We're going to prove that um, vertical angles are congruent. So let's go back to the theorem. I could really say that if, if um, two angles are vertical, then the angles are congruent. So I can transfer this really into an if-then statement. So the, the, the hypothesis here is that I have two vertical angles. And what I'm trying to uh, conclude is that those angles are congruent. So let's copy down the given, the proof, and the diagram along with your two columns. Now on the given, I was given, remember our hypothesis back here, two vertical angles. So notice that 
Angle one and angle two are vertical angles. They're across from one another. Now what we're trying to prove then is that they're congruent. That angle one is congruent to angle two. So let's, uh, let's do this proof. So the first statement is always your given. So angle one and angle two are vertical angles. And that's given. Now the all important second step and maybe the toughest part of the proof is getting that second step to lead us in the direction that angle one is congruent to angle two. Now notice we're given angles. We have angles. So think about your definitions and theorems that involve angles. And remember we cannot use theorem 2-3 because that's what we're trying to prove. But I can use anything up to that point. So think about definitions that we've had involving angles. Think about postulates. And probably the most used one is our angle addition postulate, isn't it? So let's try this. Let's say that um, um, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 add up to what again? 180. And let's say that the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, those add up to 180. And the reason for that is the angle addition postulate. So that's a good place to start. Let's see if we can, uh, if this will lead us in the direction we want to go. Now, notice that this is equal to 180, and this is equal to 180. So both are equal to the same thing. That, that makes them equal to themselves. So let's write down that in statement three, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle three equals the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three. And the reason is substitution. Substitution property. Now we're, we're about done. Now if I notice I have angle three on both sides. Now I could solve this. Let, what would happen if I subtract the measure of angle three from both sides? They cancel, right? And all I have is that the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two. Or, in other words, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. That means the same thing. So, the reason for that is the subtraction property. And so, we've proven that vertical angles are congruent. All right, so you've got a theorem. You've got a proof that we just did. And we have uh, vertical angles, supplementary angles, and complementary angles with definitions with those to uh, lead us to this topic called special pairs of angles.